Hey everybody, this is Doodle Bob Sin01 here. <laughs> and today we're gonna stand up. I mean, today we're gonna have a look at the closing to VeggieTales Rack Shack and Benny 2002 DVD. And here it is. Oh, you're back. Well, I still haven't been able to get Larry out of the sink. I want to get out, Bob. But it's time now to talk about what we've learned today. I know what we have learned applies to our life today. And God had a lot to say in his book. Larry, you know how I feel about that song. See, we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a hey! That's cool! As I was saying, it's time to talk about what we've learned today. Right, Larry? I'm wet. Right. Well, Rack Shack and Benny learned that standing up for what they believed in was pretty hard, but it was worth it. When all their friends were doing things that were wrong, Rack Shack and Benny remembered what their parents had taught them and that God wanted them to do what was right. In the end, God was protecting them, even in the fiery furnace. Well, what did you learn, Larry? Well, I learned that doing something that you know isn't such a good idea, just to be cool, isn't very cool. I put an oven mitt on my head just because Veggie Beat Magazine said it would make me cool, even though I couldn't see anything. It didn't make me cool. It made me... Maybe bump into a toaster and then fall into the sink. And now I can't get out of here. I'm going to be stuck here forever. And people are going to set plates on my head. And I'm never going to get to go to the circus or run through the fresh cut grass or feel the ocean breathe in my hair as I pilot my nimble schooner Felix off the coast of our family home at Kenny Bunkport. Oh, I see him. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. What? 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 Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, Larry. You see that spoon over there? Uh huh. If you stand on that end of it, and I jump onto the other end, it'll fling you out of there, okay? Okay. This'll just take a second. I'm ready. Okay, here I come. Oh, that's much better. Thank you, Bob. Bob? Bob? I'm in here, Larry. Oh, there you are. Hey, let's see if Cordy has a word for us. Stand firm and hold to the teachings we passed on to you. Second, Thessalusians, Thessalians, Thessalusians, uh, Bob? Thessalonians. Thanks. Can I get out now? Not yet. Second, Thessalonians 2.15. That means, remember what your parents teach you and what you've learned from the Bible. If someone wants you to do something that you know is wrong, stand firm and do what's right. In our story, Rack, Jack, and Benny stood firm when all their friends were doing things they knew were wrong. So, Dexter, the next time you go to Billy's house, maybe you could bring one of your favorite videos to watch instead. He might think it's pretty cool. It isn't always easy, but knowing you've done the right thing sure feels good inside. Right, Bob? Yep, that's right, Larry. I'd like to get out now. Well, that's all the time we have today. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Goodbye! Goodbye!